here at Nestle Baby and today we're really excited because we have the Kleck Foon car seat. For those of you that are living under a rock, you should know that the Foon is Kleck's newest car seat that's going to hit the market very soon and it features a five point safety harness. So it's the first of Kleck seats that you can use from an earlier age. It goes from 15 to 65 pounds and can go rear or forward facing. First let's go over the benefits to this seat in general. To start off, the seat features a five point safety harness. The seat features EPP foam in the headrest as well as in the actual seat. So if you're in the know about car seats, then you'll know that that's probably the best type of foam you'll want in your seat. As far as the actual structure, the headrest, it's a metal substructure. The headrest has metal in it. The whole frame of the car seat itself is uh, metal and underneath is actually metal over here. The metal substructure is going to offer you this, offer you the safety, safest seat as far as um, in an impact or in a collision. So that's the basic gist of the seat. Additionally, you can face it forward or rear facing. We're going to start out talking about how it is forward facing. It is extremely easy to install. This is very valuable because the quicker and easier you can install it, the less chance you have of possibly making an accident and installing it incorrectly. In a forward facing position, you can use the rigid latch, which is very easy to latch on and off in your vehicle. You can also recline the seat. Now, there's a few reasons why you would want to recline it. For starters, reclining it will help you get a better fit in your vehicle. So different vehicles are made differently. There's different shaped seats, different shaped headrests, and you want to really get the best fit in your vehicle. By being able to recline it, it obviously offers the ability for more cars to fit properly. In addition, it just adds more comfort for your child, which is also great. Obviously, in rear and forward facing mode, it is a five point safety harness. And as far as convenience feature goes, for when you're putting your child in and out, there are little magnets inside. It sounds trivial, but it does really help get the child in quickly. They're holding out. If your vehicle is not equipped with isofix anchors, you can still use the seat. What you'll have to do is feed your seat belt through the back. Yeah, down and then, down yeah. And then back again, over here. In addition, whether you are using the seatbelt or you are using the rigid latch, you will need to tether it off on top. So many people don't really know about this. In any vehicle like an SUV, behind the actual seat, the seconds, the, the back seats, behind the seat, so it's actually sort of in your trunk, there's an area that you can hook this onto. It does have to be hooked on with this seat. So in order to use the seat, you do have to have that clip. It'll work also in your actual vehicle seat. You'll be able to, um, it's sort of like in the back window, you'll be able to do it. If your car isn't equipped with this, like let's say you have a classic car, then the seat isn't for you. At only 17 inches, the width is extremely narrow. Now I know you're probably thinking that if the seat is narrow, that means that your child's not gonna have that much space. That is completely incorrect. It is extremely comparable to other seats on the market as far as width. Obviously there are some bigger and there are some equally similar in size, but you will have plenty of room for your child to sit in this seat. In addition, if you have three children, you can put three seats across. It's a very big dilemma that some families have of putting three seats across the back, and with this seat you will be able to do it in most vehicles. Boom can take a child forward facing from 30 inches to 49 inches and from 20 pounds to 65 pounds. You should obviously check the recommendations of your local CPSC tech as well as um, your laws in your state, but it can take a child of that size. It's recommended at the very minimum that your child be one year old and walk in completely unassisted in order to sit in the seat in the forward facing position. Foomph is super easy to install. We've got this great face right here which is kind of going to function as our seat, our car seat like our seat in the car, not our car seat. And these bars are gonna be like our Isofix bars, which you can find in your seat of any vehicle manufactured after 2003. So to install it, you simply slide the seat back and it'll snap right into the, the Isofix bar. So now you actually are installed in forward facing mode. All you have to do next is tether this to the back of the seat if it's a SUV or if it's a coupe or a sedan by your rear window. And that'll basically install, but obviously you need to check the angle of the seat to make sure that it works for your seat as well, for your car as well. One of the things that's getting a lot of publicity about Boom is the fact that they have what's called React technology in the seat. This is a very valuable thing when it's in forward-facing mode. In the case of an auto, auto, automotive accident, 
um, there is a crumple zone. So it'll actually absorb some of the energy. It looks like a honeycomb, and it'll absorb some of the energy of the crash, which is gonna kind of revolutionize the industry a little bit. Here we have the Kleck Fun in rear facing mode. And if you have a child that is 14 to 45 pounds or 25 to 46 inches, they'd be perfect for this position, obviously, if they fit well. And some of the things, that points I wanted to show you are how easy it is to install, the same as it is easy to install in far facing. As you can see, you have these latch connectors. They are stored inside the seat over here. It's underneath the seat, actually, like underneath the base of the seat. And you feed them out and you snap them into your Isofix bar and you obviously tighten them to the right fit for your car and that's how you'll get the snug fit. The seat has an anti-rebound bar which will only be used in rear facing mode. Now this bar is very valuable for several reasons. For starters, it really allows you to kind of get a good fit in the vehicle because it's up against the back of the seat so you're kind of like almost like wedged in there in a way um, which is good for obviously fit. It also is going to, in a side impact, it's going to keep the seat in better so it's going to have less rotation. Additionally, in any crash, you'll see that uh, obviously inertia is going to cause the seat to want to go forward. In other words, the seat itself is going to want to face plant because of the inertia. This bar is going to stop that from happening because it's going to be up against the seat. So it's going to basically cause it to stay more in the position that it's in than it would normally stay in if there was no bar there. Obviously, that's what you want your child to do. In the case of an accident, you want them to stay in the seat as snug as possible. The seat itself comes with this wedge. It is not available separately, you have to purchase it with the seat. So when you purchase any foom, you get the wedge. The wedge, actually the seat sits on the wedge in rear facing mode, and that's gonna give you the proper recline for a child of that size, also the proper, proper angle for a proper fit in the vehicle in rear facing. The headrest can be extended in rear facing mode. So it does help you uh, last longer with a child rear facing, which is something that's really valuable because we all know that you'd like to keep your child rear facing as long as possible. To feed the straps in and out and get a better, um, best fit for your child, it's very simple. You do so through the back of the seat. As well, the crotch strap can also, has two sections that it can come in and out of. So for the size of your child, you can adjust it uh, to get a more snug fit on the actual child. If the seat that you're using does, the, the seat in the car that you're using doesn't have an isofix bar, you can use the seat belt and feed it through and, and connect it in order for it to be installed properly. It's important to understand that even though Fund is a rear facing seat that does have a five point safety harness, it is not for newborns. You cannot put your child in a seat unless they are a minimum of 14 pounds or 25 inches and they must be able to hold their head up completely unassisted. So that's around six months.